So this video is going to be about the non-minimalists and non-zero wasters and non-vegans in your life. <laughs> so for me personally, I'm living with ratmates. So I'm living with four other people that are not vegan, that I wouldn't consider minimalists, and that are not aiming for zero waste. My first tip would be to respect each other's lifestyle choices. So for example, my flatmates might joke about me having adapted to a vegan diet, but they respect my choice. So they're supportive, they're giving me tips, they listen to me and they're considerate. I remember I came home and my flatmate was cooking meat and she, she saw me coming through the door, looked at me and was like, oh, oh, uh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm cooking me. I looked at her and I was like, you know, that, that's, that's fine by me as long as you don't force me to eat it. I'm all right with that. Because obviously we're using the same pans and pots. I, I don't have different ones and I'm completely fine with that. Because obviously we have a shared kitchen. So all the utensils, everything we use, every one of us is using and they're cooking meat and obviously I'm not but that's that's fine by me and if it would bother me I would just get my own stuff but it's a shared kitchen after all so I like to keep things simple and to be honest the less I own the better yeah and another tip is take initiative so we had a compost bin in front of our house ever since I moved in but we never actually started composting. And I did my research and talked to my flatmate about it and she actually did compost in the past. So she was stoked on it. And I got the bin from out, just outside the house, inside the house, into our backyard. Got some newspaper because those bin liners, at least here in the UK, you have to buy them and they're not that cheap. And since that's something we would buy from our household budget. I did my research and figured, okay, we can use used paper as well. And so I told all my flatmates, hey guys, we, we're not gonna compost, here's the newspaper, um, here's the bin, and please try to put all the food scraps in the bin. And it's, it's working beautifully, everyone is doing it, and it's lovely. But while you can't necessarily make people follow your lifestyle choices, you can at least implement little things like composting or recycling or for example you could try to get more eco-friendly products for your house as for my household that's unfortunately not in the budget we're literally using the cheapest stuff on earth but there's only so much I personally can do about this so I figured okay I will change that area of my life whenever I have my own apartment. My flatmates are very understanding and supportive. They adapted to composting and I'm sharing this with you because whether you're living with flatmates or with your family or with your friend or with your husband or girlfriend or boyfriend and whatnot, what's important is to respect each other, to respect each other's lifestyle choices and but also to support each other. So if, if there's something you really want to do, you really want to implement, then you might find a way to do so. So no matter what your living situation, there are always things, uh, at least I would hope, that there are always things you could change or you could at least suggest. I just wanted to make a quick video to share, to share that with you, really. And it's all about the little things, really. Making little changes asking people, oh, you know, how do you feel about this? How do you feel about composting? How do you feel about recycling? How do you feel about using this detergent instead of that one? It's all about finding a happy, a happy medium. <laughs> okay guys, I hope this was somewhat helpful. See you guys next time and have a lovely day. Bye!